Want to know why I love this job? Because I get to go on a trip to Spain and Portugal and stand in one of the coolest places I've been yet. I'm on a rock overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. You can hear the waves. I'm getting hit with the spray and I'm right under the balcony of Europe. How cool is that? And in this precarious position, I'm kind of glad I haven't had too many glasses of the Spanish wine, but after sampling more than a few, I can assure you it's quite tasty. But there is a fortified wine that originates from Spain, mostly used for cooking, but all of it starts with white grapes from southwestern Spain. When you first walk into the Real Tesoro Distillery in Jerez, Spain, it seems more museum than sherry winery. Even the barrels are hidden behind a family legacy that's over 500 years old. To say that it's a museum is no boast. There's an art gallery here on the property. A donor gave more than 100 original Picassos to it alone, making it the envy of many world-class museums by itself. But it does make sherry, a lot of it. Room after room is filled with barrels, upon barrels upon barrels. So many, in fact, that there's warehouses full of them with their own street names. Sherry, like most wines, is more valued the older it gets, and some of these in the main rooms date back to the 1920s. For far longer, though, Real Tesoro has had a relationship with the farmers who bring them their grapes. You can see it mixed in with the barrels and bottles here, old pictures showing a time when farmers brought them in from mules and wagons. Here in the modern era, sherry is at least made in the same same way that it used to be. So we increase the alcohol content, we kill the yeast and produce the sedation process. And that's it. Class 15 got to taste three different kinds from dry to very sweet. Class member and sugar producer Stephen Simino said he got a taste of home from it. This one actually tastes like Steen's syrup. That's the flavor I'm getting. It's a sweet, sweet molasses -y flavor. Classmate Aaron Pierre agreed, saying he noticed it in the air when he first walked in. It was a strong aroma of just fine smelling wine. It was it was good. It was like heaven. Sherry's sweet taste is generally seen as a digestif or after dinner drink, but it certainly pairs well with both the taste and culture of Spain. For this week in Louisiana agriculture, I'm Neil Malasson. Still to come on this special edition of Twyla from the Iberian Peninsula, why is it important for ag leaders to travel abroad? We'll show you right after this.